Hello everyone. I hope you all are well. It's been a while. And I believe you all are preparing well for your upcoming exams. An SSP notifications is out. And we are expecting NBAC notifications uh, very soon. So yeah, I thought of bringing a uh, at the time repetition video. So for today we have pie chart that and repetition. So yeah, well let's try to learn it together. We we'll learn from one another. So in later part of the video, uh, I'm thinking of bringing more of this uh, that and repetitions video. So if you're an aspirant and if you like it, then please share with your aspirants friends. So yeah, let's get started. The first one is pie chart. Now here, this is recording the expenditure. So in pie chart, we have education, other savings, housing, clothes, food. Now if we ate all the degree, then we'll get 360 for sure. Which means in a circle, in terms of degree, it's 360. In terms of percentage, it's 100%. So there's no specific uh, amount is given for this 360 together uh, expenditure is not given so let's try to break this pie chart with the help of the questions the first one it says the ratio expenditure on food to savings so the food is given in terms of degree 120 degree from here and ratio means is 2 savings is 60 degree so if we cancel it 61 times 62 times then 2 is to 1 is the answer next one if the expenditure on education is 1600 more than that of housing then we need to find the expenditure on food so here education we have 70 degree from here and housing we have 54 so if we find the difference are we getting 16 degree so s education is 16 degree more than the housing now as per question it says education is leading by 1600 or no so can we say 16 degree is equal to 1600 now 1 into anything is anything so 1 into 16 degree is 16 degree so if you place the 1 degree here and kick out the 16 degree on the right hand side then here 16 0, 0 divided by 16 are we getting 100 they're asking us to find expenditure on food now here food is 120 degree so here one degree we know it's 100 so for the food is 120 degree so 120 degree becomes what 1 into 120 degrees 120 degree so 1 degree is 100 into 120 will give us 12,000 so A is the answer next one if the only income is 36,000 so here the uh, overall overall income is given 36,000 then the yearly savings so here when we look at the pie chart the savings is 60 degree so if overall which is six, 360 degree is equal to 3,000 36,000 then one degree becomes 36,000 by 360 then here 100 times so we're getting one degree is equal to 100 now we know savings is 60 degree savings is 60 degree from the pie chart so the 60 degree becomes 1 into 60 will give us 60 so 1 is 100 into 60 will give us 6,000 but they are seeing us to find in terms of yearly so this is regarding a month this is for the month so if it is for yearly then we need to multiply it by 12 because in a year we have 12 months so for yearly 12 months into one month which will give us 72,000 D is the answer all right okay now we have second 
pie chart second pie chart is also regarding uh, degree because here it's mentioned that the construction of the house is given in terms of degree so leper is 90 degree salmon is 72 degree bricks is 54 degree and so on so here the total cost is given total cost is given us 60,000 60 gay 60 all right so let's try to solve it let's try to break this one together the amount spent on cement that means cement is 72 degree so cement is 72 degree out of 360 degree correct we know in a circle we have 360 degree if we sum all the uh, construction cost then this will give us 360 and we know total is 60,000 so 6 into 60,000 so we will cancel 1010 zero, one, zero, 36 2 times will give us 72 so then 72 into 6,000 will give us 12,000 12,000 so answer is C next one the amount spent on leper exceeds the amount spent on steel pie alright so leper we have 90 this is for question number 2 leper we have 90 and steel we have 54 alright we have 54 so leper exceeds we know steel is 54 and leper is 90 degree now uh, exceeds that means the difference of these two will give us um, 6 to 60 and then we have 30 that means 36 36 degree so 36 degree when we compare from uh, 54 because <coughs> the question says the amount spent on labor exceeds the amount spent on steel so we'll compare from the steel so 36 degree by 54 into 100 just give it a try let's give it a try so are we getting this one uh, six nine times and six six times two times three times all right wrong approach so they're asking us to find the amount spent on leper all right leper is there 90 and exceeds the amount spent okay all right just give me a minute okay yeah let's give it a try let's give it a try mm. all right <coughs> so here leper is if there is six are we we're getting there six degree correct so there is six degree this one when we compare from the 36 overall which is 60,000 then one times and ten times one times that means we're getting 6,000 now this 6,000 is what percent of the total because the options are given in terms of uh, percentage so 60 6, total is 60,000 into 100 so here 20 two zero two zero gone 20 zero, two zero gone 6 10 times so here 10 percent 10 percent of the total cost however we can do it this one with the help of earlier one All right earlier one was also a correct approach so here 36 degree we have 36 degree but this is from the total for which we will not divide by 54 but we will divide by 36 360 degree into 100 why 100 because they're asking us to find in terms of percentage the options are given in terms of percentage so here 1 times 10 times 10 10 times will give us 10% of the total cost next one <coughs> 
The amount spent on cement, steel, and supervisions is what percent of the total cost of construction. So cement, steel, supervision. Cement is 72, steel is 54. Cement is 72, steel is 54, and supervision is 54 again. Plus 54 is what percent of the total cost. So just divide it by 360 degree because even if we don't convert it in terms of money, the degree, we can do it by degree also. So into 100. So if we plus add this one, 54, 54 will give us 108. Now 108 plus 72 will give us 180 only. So here, 180 divided by 360 into 100. So one times, two times, two, 50 times. Then this will give us 50%. If you want to do it with the help of money, we know that steel, cement and supervision will give us 180 degree. 180 degree. Now we know 360 degree is equivalent to 60,000. So if we want to find for 180 degree, then just find for one degree. One degree will give us 60,000 by 360. And just multiply by 180 because 180 degrees what one degree we know it's 60,000 by 360 into 180 that means here two times and we have <coughs> Right, just give me a minute. Yeah, we'll get. Then this will give us a uh, two, three, zero, 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 zero. Then here, thirty thousand is what percent of sixty thousand? So here, uh, the total gross percentage will be thirty thousand divided by total cost 60,000 into 100. Why 100? Because the question is asking us in terms uh, to find in terms of person. So here 2 times 2, 50 times. So here we'll get 50% again. Next one. The amount spent on labor exceed the amount spent on supervision. So labor is we have uh, 90 and supervision is 54. So leper is 90 and supervision is 54. Now if you find the difference, then this will give us 36 degree. So 36 degree in terms of uh, 360 degree into the total amount, which will be 60,000. So here, the, in order to find the 36 degree of money, now can we do this way? We know 360 degree is equal to 60,000. Now one degree is equal to 60,000 by 360. We need to find for 36 degree. So just multiply by 36 so one degree is equal to I'm not canceling it all right you can also cancel this one into 36 36 10 times cancel then you will get 6,000 then the leper is 6,000 more than the supervision that means answer is D so yeah that's all for the day uh, see you in the next video so yeah and one thing is uh, we have we are having an online course so if you are interested uh, it's just 300 rupees and then before prelims we will be uh, sharing ideas we'll learn regarding uh, data sufficiency data interpretation and statement based questions which was asked 
last year and we will also try to learn how to tackle those questions so yeah i'll see you in the next video and thank you so much